So I grew up in a small town in the northwest part of the state, Goshen, Connecticut. Uh, went to four years of public school at Wilmogo Regional High School, which is a, a small regional school. Played soccer, basketball, and baseball my entire career there. Um, and was actually planning to go play basketball in college. Long story short, ended up playing baseball um, at Amherst College for three years, was fortunate enough to get drafted out of Amherst College and play a couple years of professional baseball in the Baltimore Orioles organization. Um, where from there, kind of led into my college coaching career. As I said, when I f finished up my pro ball career, I went back to Amherst College to finish my undergrad degree and uh, immediately hopped on the coaching staff after I finished that degree uh, for the baseball team while I was also working on a master's degree from UMass Amherst in sports management. Um, while I was doing that, would coach in the summers, started with coaching an AAU travel program out of Raleigh, North Carolina, um, which then led me to uh, becoming a college summer baseball coach in the Futures Collegiate League, where I managed the North Shore Navigators uh, for, for one summer there. Uh, after my four years at Amherst College, uh, went up to Dartmouth College where I was the hitting coach previously and uh, this year ended up back in Connecticut, back home and now at Eastern. Selfishly, um, I still get to compete. Uh, I'm, I'm a very competitive person. Uh, it's, it's great to go out there and, and compete and at a place like Eastern where you can compete on a national level. That's huge. Um, but that's that's icing on the cake for me. The the most rewarding things of or most rewarding aspects of being a college coach are probably um, the ability to mentor, develop, um, and work with talented student athletes, but also have a role in kind of shaping their future and hopefully having a positive impact on their lives. That's that's kind of the the crux of what we do as coaches, um, and definitely the uh, the thing that. Uh, I find most rewarding. We're looking for somebody who's going to be competitive, right? That's that's one of the values that we look for in this program. Um, but hardworking, diligent. Uh, I talk to our players all the time. Uh, if you what you are doing on the field bleeds into what you do off the field, what you do off the field bleeds into what you do on the field. So if you're not taking care of business in the classroom, or you're not taking care of business um, socially or in your personal life. I mean, it's going to be tougher for you to take care of business on the field and vice versa, right? Um, so we're looking for well-rounded individuals um, who are going to embrace the, the fact that we're going to have a very competitive program. We're going to have to work hard if we want to achieve our goals. Um, and I think that's tremendous in um, teaching those values and something, something that those athletes can take with them long after their baseball careers. <laughs> I would say time. Time is probably the biggest advantage there. Uh, you think about uh, Division One programs traveling across country, traveling across country multiple times in a season, um, playing a 50 to 60, sometimes 65 game sch schedule through a spring is, is tough. Um, so we, we still play a, a very a tough schedule, a time consuming schedule. Uh, but we try to be more cognizant of those student athletes' lives and the, the time that they need to spend on their academics, um, their social life. Uh, so it's much more balanced, and I think that's a, a great aspect of Division Three, while still being able to compete at an extremely high level. So in season, I mean, we're, we're in season right now, so I can kind of take you through um, what today looked like for a couple of my student athletes. Um, I got in here around 8 a.m., had individual hitting sessions. Those individual hitting sessions for our position players are going to be right around a half hour. Um, pitching sessions as well with Coach Gil Blair, our pitching coach. Um, those will also be around a half hour. So they'll come down, get some individual work. Some of those students will then go get a lift in, go to class, obviously. We're working around those, those class schedules, those academic schedules. And then we've got practice from 4.30 to 6.30 today. Um, that's a pretty average day in our, in our spring season. We're always gonna have one entire day off, no lifts, no meetings, anything like that. Um, that's a way for our students to kind of catch their breath, get their feet under them, take care of their business, their homework, um, their classwork, all of that stuff. Um, but that's pretty much typically what a, a day would look like for a position player and a pitcher in season. Out of season, it's gonna depend on the time of year. 
Over the summer, we have a lot of our student athletes playing summer college baseball. Um, some of them playing in some of the most competitive leagues possible, playing 60 plus game seasons in the summer um, to get a lot of innings on the mound or a lot of at bats as a, as a hitter. Uh, but there are other students that they need to work 40 hours a week. So they'll still play summer ball, but they'll play at a level that allows them to have a little bit more time to, to work if they need to. Um, but that's what it kind of looks like in the summer and then the fall. We are in our, our down season, off season a little bit, but we still have uh, usually around four practices a week in the fall. I tell our, our players, um, and this is, starts in their time here, obviously, I want you to be a good person, I want you to be a good teammate, and I challenge you to be great. Um, so hopefully those are things that they, they take with them in their life after Eastern. Um, you're going to need to, in order to achieve those things, you're going to have to be hardworking. Um, you're going to have to be a good self-evaluator, right? Um, we have a, a varsity roster of around 40 players, and there's only 10 baseball players playing in a game at a time. Um, so you're going to have to learn how to be a good teammate, even if you're not necessarily out there on the field contributing. And there are ways to do that, right? Um, and being a good person, that that's an obvious one, right? But sometimes, um, you can find yourself in a situation where you can make one of two decisions. And I challenge those, um, my student athletes to, to ask themselves the question, hey, is this something a good person would do? Um, and hopefully they can kind of have that, um, that self-awareness and, and then have that self-motivation to um, force themselves to be good people, but also challenge themselves both in the classroom, on the baseball field, um, and you hope that that sticks with them uh, throughout the rest of their life.